Carter and Tibbs in the Bay Area there for about 162. Uh, Southwest 1212, Vegas departures, turn left heading 060. Okay. I want to go over this little program that I found called Push to Talk Buddy that's available on the internet. I purchased this through the X-Plane store for I believe about $10 and I do not have any um, relationship or any type of uh, deal with the the maker of this. It looks like Eliza Stanios or something. I had just found this program uh, that is very very helpful when um, I am in the Flight Sim Network. So this program is going to work for pretty much anything that is out there that is gaming that you need to hear audio from different sources that are you are using in that that are coming through your headphones. So to give you an example, right now I've got uh, X Plane 11, and then I also have Discord that is open, and I also have X Pilot Client is open, so I can hear the uh, virtual air traffic control, and also I've got Google that's open, and it's playing some music in the background that I can listen to as I'm flying, and then um, everything is being pumped through my headphones. So, and if you face a situation to where you might have the noise from the engine coming through, the music noise coming through, and your friend talking to you on Discord, and maybe someone trying to hit you up on the VATSIM network. You just can't hear them all. So the solution to this is this push to talk buddy. So I'm going to show you how this and what this works. So the push to talk buddy itself, you get to use it for five minutes before you register it. And then within that five minutes, you have to try to understand how to configure it. Well, I wasn't very good at this. I looked online. I couldn't find any real good documentation. The documentation that exists with this is okay, but I'm kind of a visual person, so I need to kind of have a little bit better understanding about what is going on. So if you look here on the screen, I did register this. I, again, it was only $10, and once you register it, it does allow you to use it to its full capacity. There are some downsides to this program, for instance. The program itself does not save your settings. So when you set this up, there's no way to save your settings. Every time you use it, you have to come back in and use and set your settings up. Again, this isn't a big deal once you figure out how to use it. Once you open it up, you, you are going to be presented with the sound clients that the Push to Talk Buddy program has recognized. So what I suggest is you open up all your other programs. For instance, I've got Google here, Discord, the Xplain client, and, and Xplain itself open. Then I went ahead and opened up um, my push to talk buddy. Once you do that, then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to see all the sound clients here. If for some reason, let's say that I close, I'm going to close out my Xplain client and then I open up push to talk buddy so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna refresh my applications you'll see that the X-Plane X -Plane client is gone so I'm gonna go ahead and reopen X-Plane client so oh my goodness I've got everything all set up I, I need to re I need X-Plane client in there but I don't want to close everything down it's really just as simple as this you reopen X-Plane client and here it is and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna hit refresh um, my applications. Now you can see Xplain client is back in here. So let's go ahead and get reconnected back into the Xplain client because we're on the VATSIM network and currently we are stationed in London and London has a lot of people up on the VATSIM network. So I'm going to show you how this works. The left side are the programs that you want to be silent anytime anything on the right side is being activated through sounds. Right now I have the sounds going through my Logitech headset on both of these. Now for me, when I'm doing X-Plane, you're going to see X-Plane as CV, CVC host. The reason that is is because I have my sounds split through a mixer because I also have a um, butt kicker chair. In order to get the sounds out of X-Plane, to the butt kicker chair, I had to split them. So that's why you see this as CVC, CVC host. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the sounds here and explain. So I get explain going, VATSIM, so I can hear what's going on. So I'm going to tune here to 124.225. So I'm going to turn COM1 on. 
And I also have CON2 selected, so I'm going to turn that one on. And now you can hear the VATSEN network in there. And you can also hear the X-Plane going. Well, this isn't necessarily a problem when you're sitting here in idle. But what I'm going to do is if I was to raise my engines up, let's say I'm flying, and I have wind noise going on, letting this guy talk. So you got multiple people talking here. Let's kill one of them. There we go. So as you can see, with the engines going, and I've got XP realistic as a plug-in, so i got wind noise going, I may not hear what's going on in the VATSIM network. So, so easy for this to happen. So what I'm going to come over here and do, I'm going to select when X-Pilot is being on, I want the sounds over here and X-Plane to be minimized, so that way through my headset, I can hear everything that they're saying. So I've selected X-Pilot, and over here, I'm going to minimize this, then I'm going to enable, mon enable monitoring, and another thing that you can do, and if you see, my sounds have eliminated on X-Pilot, or X-Plane. Let me turn this off just for a second. Okay, the other thing that you can do is, on the push to talk button, so on my uh, yoke, down here, on the other side of my yoke, I have a push to talk button. When I key up that push to talk button, I want the X plane sounds to also be minimized. That way, when I'm doing a video for YouTube, whoever's watching the video hears my voice over the engines of the plane. So I'm going to enable push to talk. It's on my Alpha Flight Control. And then I'm going to push this push button to detect. And then, unfortunately, there's a small Air, there's a small bug in the program when I push the mouse button here for that push to talk it should highlight but instead it picks up my mouse button so I'm just going to choose this, choose this down to button one that's on my joystick and I'm going to enable the push to talk key maybe let me see something here maybe I've never now that's push to talk key so now when I key up you can see he I keyed up you can see here that this microphone um, let me see. Yeah, you can see here that the microphone highlighted to let me know that that's being activated. So I'm going to switch back over here so we can listen to see what's going on, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So you're going to see the X-plane sounds through here. The X-pilot talking meter will be here, and when it's and when it's working, this is going to highlight, and I can choose the sound level that I want it to fade. Uh, to, to do. I can have it completely zero and I'll show you that. So right now I'm going to turn my engine sounds up because I haven't turned down. So let's go ahead and turn these up real quick. So you can hear the engine sounds are louder and if I was doing a video you wouldn't be able to hear me talking over VATSIM. So watch watch what's going to happen. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn this off. Let's turn this on. So I'm going to let them talk for a second. I might bring two up. Not a lot of people are talking there. Let's switch to 123.925. Just now we have some people talking. Now with enable monitoring on, when they're talking, my X plane sounds completely eliminated because I have this all the way over here. Now when they're done talking, it brings the sound back up. Isn't that awesome? That's totally amazing. It blows me away because now I can do YouTube videos and you can hear my voice over someone else speaking from the X Plane Tones. So, watch, I'll increase this, the throttle and watch how much more dramatic this is. I can't even hear the engine. They're going to stop talking here in a minute. Now the engine sounds are back. Isn't that awesome? So the other, awesome, the other thing is, you can choose the amount of sound that you want to be um, decreased depending on this lever here. So if I have it all the way over here, nothing will be decreased. See so watch. 
Continue drop speed with 292. No sounds are decreased. But right there, 3 Echo behind the landing, British Airways 320. So I had mine about 20. So as soon as he talks again, you can hear it's going to go down. I'm going to bring up another radio here. Right there, 3 Echo. See, now my X plane sounds have decreased. So that's for X plane. Now let's say that I have someone talking over here on Discord. And, you know, when we talk back and forth, you know, it's like, hey, what's going on, whatever. But then when X pilot. You know, that sim is talking. I gotta mute this guy over here because I can't have him talking and them because I won't be able to hear. And these are more important. So over here, what I'm gonna do is when X pilot's talking, I want to mute Discord. Oh, Discord isn't in here. So I need to refresh. It's still not in there. Well, I'm not sure why Discord isn't showing up. That's not good. Let me close Discord out real quick and I'll bring it back. And then I'll show you... Okay, so Discord's back. Maybe it's because I don't have any sounds going through Discord? I think that's what it is. Because I haven't had any sounds going through Discord. Uh, let me see... Let me try calling somebody here. See if that refreshes it. Now I've got sound through Discord. So now that I have sound going through Discord, now you can see that it's up over here. So when X-Pilot's talking, I want Discord to be silenced and I want x to be silenced. So that's how that works for over here. So the other, the other thing that you can do, so let's turn these sounds back on here. We're going to reduce the sounds back to what they were. Just my exterior sounds a little bit lower. So now I've got some music playing through Google. So I'm just chilling out, listening to music when I'm flying, you know. And I don't want I don't want the music to overpower when X Pilot's talking. So let's let's get these back on here. And then three two six whiskey, welcome to Gatwick. Vacate right when able. Contact the ground one two one eight. Goodbye. You can see. So the way that this is working, my sounds are going through the CVC host because of my splitter. But because now I have sound going through, let me turn this off real quick. Now that I have sound going through Google, if I refresh my applications, okay, well Google is going to be just this one right here. It looks like. Let me see if I can. I'll close that out and I'll open up another Google. And then see if it refreshes over here. So Google's going through my CVC host. I love it every time it's commercial air. So there's my sounds. My music's chilling. I'm listening to music as I'm flying. And then all of a sudden, we have to turn these back on. Or, uh, no, I didn't close out of it, so just this one, and Discord, and I'll come over here, doing my thing, flying around, and both Google, over here is reduced, and the sounds from my engines. So let me show you that here outside. Bring this up. Sounds exterior. So I'm doing some flying. No, oh, that's really loud. Holy cow. And then when Vatsim is talking, everything's silent. Alright. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe on this channel. There we go. Please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe on this channel. Let me know what you thought about this, uh, if it helps you out. I'm going to put a link down in the uh, description of where you can get this uh, awesome product. Again, I did not make this. I just thought that I would help out with putting a video out there for you. It will work with other programs out there that you use live talking with. It's got multiple applications. I think it's a wonderful product. I'm sure there's other things out there that are just as good or maybe even better, but this one was only $10 on the X-Plane Store uh, 
on the X-Plane stores where I found it. I believe it did. So thanks, everybody. Comment down below if this helped you, please. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Hit that bell, and you'll be notified when we do another YouTube video. You guys have a good night. Maybe I'll see you in the skies. Southwest 124, Katrina, left, turn ahead and treat 2-0, join the bomb, and 6-5, victory, direct beach.